with my career it it was first it was opportunity that was just me being at the right place at the right time but then when i recognized the opportunity then i was like okay maybe i can do something major with this thing because then i started doing cool stuff like geometry was cool to do gigs were cool to do you know flying around the world even like traveling to london i think in 2007 with skido yeah. it became such a cool thing then i was like okay this thing is dope and people I'm, i just need to make sure that i'm a killer dj then yeah. i can just you know yeah. i can i can do this thing. so I, I guess all those things just came together you know like in building my brand like and also fuse academy my dj school yeah. did a lot in in just me becoming like a, a firmer or a stronger brand or a leading brand in the female category i think that's the only way you can be viewed as the leader if you can teach other people to do the same thing you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i was talking to someone uh, recently and they were talking about helping other people like in the same industry i'm like that's the only way you can ever be recognized as the leader because yeah. the minute you start you know sending the lift down to other people then people say okay this one is secure enough now i'm a badass like i'm completely strong where do you strong. get that from is it from your parents i have no idea where i got it from <laughs> i think it's from my mom my mom is like hectic my mom's like my mom is an independent woman she, uh, for as long as i've like known her <laughs> which yeah. sounds weird yeah she's been independent working shopping wo- wo- a woman yeah she, and yeah it's just like making her own way but i feel like it's just like in my personality to just like try and figure things out on my own like yeah Capricorns are just like trying to figure shit out on their own. Yeah. And also life is like complex. You know? like, I grew up in a family that was um my, both my parents are teachers so I don't have that background of business. Um however, I I've got uh, one of the biggest influences in my life is Oskido and Oskido is very like business minded and he's always like pushed me in in terms of starting something else and pushing a business. So he is the guy that like has taught me a lot about business. But in terms of me like committing to it, like I said, I think it's a personality thing and I'm just lucky yeah. that I just I'm able to make things work. I'm very persistent, I'm very consistent. Yeah. And it it has worked for me and also I think it's a restrictive thing that you do. It, it, it sort of like confines you to a certain like not behavior but to a certain level of performance in your life you know what i mean like in terms yeah. of i i watch cairo closely all the time like cairo could be eating a simple ice cream but she will like you can see that her whole life is made like yeah. she's just eating this ice cream and she's like, and then the stuff that she appreciates and the stuff that she celebrates and the stuff that she wants from you yeah. and and also just knocking you out of your self yeah. like cuz sometimes we get selfish and we get absorbed in exactly. ourselves like you were saying comfort zone is uh in ju- just coping with losing my father coping with heartbreak coping with a lot of things that I've had to deal with in the past few years yeah. uh and realizing that everyone actually is going through the same things you yeah. know like you're saying like everyone is going through the same things the stuff that you've been going through yeah. the stuff I- I'm going through but I just thought because I have a more influential voice let me see if I can write something that can